Welcome to this presentation on renumbering doors in Revit with the ID8 Apps Renumber tool. My name is Katrina Vea Rodriguez of ID8 Software. Design changes are inevitable throughout the life of a project, and because of this, doors, rooms, and other building elements may get added or deleted in the process. In turn, we go through a cycle of renumbering these categories of elements, which sometimes continues up to project completion. This equates to too much time spent renumbering when we could be focusing on other tasks at hand. With the ID8 Apps Renumber tool, we can now more efficiently renumber elements in our projects. Let's take a closer look at how this tool can help streamline our design and documentation process. In this demo, we're going to renumber all of the doors in this sample project. In this view, we can see that all door tags have already been placed. However, in taking a closer look, we can see that the numbering of doors still needs to be modified. In most cases, the standard is for a door number to be associated with a specific room number. Please also note that we are looking at an interiors project where we have both existing and new conditions. The shell and core are existing while all other interior elements are new construction. For clarity and typically as a requirement for documentation, our first task is to identify all existing doors. For this task, we're going to use one of the ID8 software tools. We'll go up to the ID8 software ribbon, to the ID8 software panel, and select ID8 Explorer. In this dialog box, we'll change the display to entire project, do a sort by phase, and a search specifically for doors. Here we can see that we have a total of 24 existing doors in our project. We can check the box next to this to select all instances. And then we can go to our Properties palette and fill in the mark parameter with identification for existing doors, which in this case will be an E in parentheses. Now we can close out of the IDATE Explorer dialog box. We can see in this view that the existing doors are still selected and highlighted in red. If we zoom in to any one of these doors, we can see that the door tag now reads the identification for existing doors, which is an E in parentheses. Our next task is to number all other doors in the project based on the room number of the room that they are best associated with. The ID8 Apps Renumber tool can be found along with other ID8 Apps tools and ID8 software tools in the ID8 software ribbon on the Revit user interface. I'll go ahead and select the ID8 Renumber tool now, in this dialog box, we first need to look at the rule that we're going to apply for this task. I'll select the Manage button where we have two options, Manage Rules and Manage Options. Manage Options assigns the path to the location from which the Revit project will import rules. It also assigns the line style to be used when creating detail line paths in our model view. Manage Rules allows us to use a predefined rule from this list, create a new rule, duplicate an existing rule and use it as a starting point, edit a rule, and delete a rule as well. We can also export and import rules for use in multiple projects. Let's first take a look at the doors rule that we'll be using by selecting it from the list and then selecting the edit button. Here we can see that the doors rule is first of all reading the mark parameter of a door. Another setting that we want to look at is the one for ignore parameter. What this setting means is that when the ignore parameter value of an element is set to yes, the element will be ignored at any time that we use this rule for renumbering. If we take, for example, all of the existing doors in the project, and our goal is for them to always be ignored when renumbering, we need to assign a yes-no parameter value for existing doors specifically. If there isn't already a parameter in the drop-down list that we can use, what we would need to do then is first create a project parameter through the Project Parameters tool in the Manage Ribbon Settings panel. In this sample project, there is already a previously created project parameter for existing doors, a parameter that is a yes-no instance parameter. We'll go ahead and select it from the list. Next, we'll need to take a look at the Value Definition section. This section allows us to create a numbering rule to be used for the door mark. Here we can see that the door mark will include the room number first, and then letters as a suffix added incrementally per room and always starting with a letter A. Please note that we can also add other constants and fields to our rule if our project has specific naming standards that we need to follow. Also, down below is a preview of what our door numbers are going to look like. 
If we are okay with the rules that we've set, we can go ahead and hit okay all the way out. Now back in our renumbering dialog, we have some other options that we need to look at. When it comes to numbering, we can choose from a number of methods. The first one is by selecting elements in the order that we want them numbered in. We can also create a path in our view using detail lines and number based on the path that the lines are crossing or of the vertices of the lines. We can also auto number by view if our rule is reading from a parameter that has already been defined. In this demo, we can use the auto number by view method because our door number is going to be based on the room number parameters, which we have already previously defined in this project. So we'll go ahead and select the auto number by view and then select start numbering. At once, a preview dialog appears, which gives us information on the doors being renumbered. It tells us the element ID of the door, the door type name, the room that it's associated with, the original value, which is the current mark value, and the new value, which is the rule that we applied, which assigns a room number and a letter suffix if there is more than one door at a room. In this preview, we can also see the existing doors in this project, which we previously changed the mark parameters of. What we can do now is first select the column header of original value to sort the column by value, and then select all of the doors with an original value of E. And then we can come down here and check the box next to element is ignored so that the mark for these doors remain E in parentheses. The important thing to note here is that because we assigned an ignore parameter value earlier called existing door, anytime that we have to renumber doors using the same rule, this setting will be remembered. What that means is that existing doors will always be ignored in the renumbering process. Also note that as we are going down the list, we are able to zoom in to a specific element. If we zoom in to door 101, looking at the view, we can see that that is what we want to do because we want door number 101 to be associated with a catering kitchen, room 109. We can continue to go down the list and review our list of doors. Let's take another example here. If we select door 107B, we can see that it will be changed to door 104A. Let's go ahead and zoom into the element. And here we can see that we probably want this door to be associated with a theme classroom. What we can do in this case is select the swap button to change the door association from corridor 104 to the theme classroom 103. By doing that, you'll see that the new value changed as well. Once we reviewed all the door numbers and everything looks good, we can select accept changes and we are done for the time being. Now, if we were to receive design changes for this project and doors are perhaps deleted and or added to our design, we can now use the renumbering tool again to renumber the doors in our project. The ID8 apps renumber tool not only makes for faster renumbering of doors as we just saw in the sample project, the tool can also be used for renumbering other categories in Revit as well, such as rooms, spaces, areas, lighting, furniture, parking, just to name a few. ID8 is an authorized Autodesk developer with over 25 years of experience. For more information on ID8 apps, visit us at id8software.com forward slash ID8 apps. Thank you and have a great day.